Alright folks, uh, welcome back. Once you have your bait rolling nicely along the side of your boat, what you want to do is set it down uh, between, say, 15, 20, 25 poles. Now, a pole is the way we measure how far out you're fishing. And one pole is the distance between the reel and the first die in your rod. Now, it varies between people, depending on your arm length, but it's usually about three or four feet. And it's just one of these. It's one pole down. So you get 15 of those down, 20 of those down. That's your perfect depth. Once you've uh, got your rod out, right depth, go ahead and set in your rod holder, like this. And there's no need to have your rod holder up like this, this high. Go ahead and keep it nice and level with the boat, like that. That'll give it a little better action uh, if you're pulling along. And uh, it's important to keep, uh, keep an eye on your bait. I recommend checking it every 15 to 20 minutes if you're not getting any bites. Could be seaweed on it. Sam might have taken a bite out of it, maybe you didn't notice. So, uh, good idea to bring your uh, line up the boat. Check it, make sure it's rolling, and uh, it's also a good idea to get a better look at your bait, make sure it's no, uh, it's alright. So the way you do that is, get yeah, weight control. Go ahead and bring your rod in until the weight is about 10 feet down, about uh, roughly equal to the reel. Go ahead and grab your weight, grab it with your left hand, so you secure your weight, your weight under control. Now the way you uh, secure it in your rod is wrap it around the front of the reel, like this, and place it in the back, between the rod and the reel, just like that. That'll secure it. That way you're free to put the rod back in the rod holder and use your leader to check your bait. And sit down. Close you have a look at your bait. I'd recommend checking it every 15 to 20 minutes if you're not getting any bites. Could be seaweed on it. Sam might have taken a bite out of it. Maybe you didn't notice. So. Alright folks, welcome back to Oli's Fishing School. Now for this segment of the school, I'm going to show you the uh, proper way to set your hooks and uh, also the proper way to bite the salmon once you have it on the line. So once you have your bait down 15, 20, 25 poles, go ahead and set and you hold it down in the holder and the best way to catch more fish, watch your rod tip at all times for salmon bites. The salmon could take a really big bite and then go for a big run and you know right away if you have a fish on. But a salmon could uh, have also very small bites, very small nibbles. And uh, that could be a two pound rockfish or it could be a 30 pound chinook, you never know. So. Keep an eye on your tip at all times, watch for little bites. You might be sitting there and you see a little tap like this. Tap, 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 tap. Now when you see a little tap like that, before you do anything, don't grab the rod. Go ahead and give them one of these out. Give them one or two pulls out. Pulls a line. What that does is just gonna stop the bait, cause it to flutter down like that. So salmon on the first strike, they're just coming to have a shot at the bait to kill it or maim it, and then they're gonna come around for a second pass. So give a couple of pulls a line out, then slide your rod out of the rod holder, like this. Hold it uh, perpendicular off the side of your boat. Hold the reel right here with your thumb, really clamp down it really well, and just wait. What you're doing now is you're waiting for the salmon to really bite on that line. And the first is just melting it. You'll see the little nibbles, little nibbles. He's not on the hooks right now. If you try and set the hooks right now, nine times out of 10, you'll miss the fish. You may get lucky, you might catch him. But the best way to increase your chances of catching more fish is to wait until he's really on there. So you see nibbles, nibbles, and then you see it go down like that. Now he actually has it in his mouth. So, when he has it in his mouth, now we're gonna pull on this reel really well. Can't stress that enough. Get a good hold on the reel, and you're gonna set the hooks like that. Just like that. Give it a good set, short and powerful. Don't wanna be setting it way over your head, but you also don't wanna set the hooks like this. Because you have 15, 20 poles of line out. This is monofilament line, it has a bit of stretch to it. So it's important to give it a good set. I even give it a reel down until I feel a really good pressure on it, and then give it up. That'll set the hooks, and uh, hopefully you hook your fish, and the fight will be on. Once you have the fish on, very important to keep a steady amount of pressure on it. What I like to do is to keep the rod tip always at 11 o'clock. Keep your tip up nice and high. That'll help absorb some of the pressure okay. off the line, and uh, help avoid both your line breaking. So, keep your rod tip up nice and high, 11 o'clock. I reel down when I have the fish on until I have about this much pressure. As a guide, I keep the bottom eye, the one farthest uh, down there, right about level with my eyesight. And I look straight across, I can see that eye about six feet high off the water. That's a perfect, uh, perfect amount of tension. Any less tension, you see it like this. Now you're running the risk of, uh, with those barbless hooks, of them popping right out of the fish's mill. And uh, if you have any more pressure, say you're reeling down like this. Now notice how the eye is below my, uh, my line of sight. Now I actually have too much pressure on that fish. Now I'm running the risk of actually ripping the hooks out of the fish's mouth, or even worse, snapping the line. 
only 25 pound taps. Perfect amount of pressure right there. So you can see right across, there's my eye about six feet high. Rod tip's always at 11 o'clock, very important. That's the perfect amount of tension you want to keep on that fish. What we'll do is we'll uh, show you how that looks like here. Let's pretend I'm sitting there in the boat and uh, I see the little nibble on my rod. I see nibble, 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 and then it goes down. Feel it really good. Go ahead and give it a set. Now the fight's on. He's going to go for a run. Put my hands underneath like this. He stops running. I'm reeling as fast as I can. I'm trying to get that pressure back. Reel in, reel in, reel in. Tip up at all times. Reeling in. See how I have that right amount of pressure on it? Just like that. I feel any more pressure on it. I'm going to go for a run underneath. Again, just like this. Notice, even as I'm fighting the fish, I'm always trying to keep that level of pressure the same on my rod tip at all times. No matter where he is, I'm always keeping that 11 o'clock high, a really good rod band, just like that. So there you go, folks. That's uh, Fish Fighting 101 at Always Fishing School. Key things to keep in mind, be patient. Wait until that fish is really on the line before you set the hooks. When you set the hooks, keep your hand clamped on this reel, just like this. Once he's on, let him run as far as he wants to. As soon as he stops running, you're back on the rail, reeling as fast as you can. Keeping a steady level of pressure at all times. Catch more fish. There you go.